up potty people and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another massive empties video where I collect my junk stuff that I use up just to review it and once again I've let it pile up way too much. You know what that's just the name of the game now because I'm really good at procrastinating. And I've actually separated out all my Korean skincare empties because I actually want to start doing my own like Korean skincare empty video in itself and kind of keeping them separate from everything else just because I don't know like I just I love K-beauty and I love Korean skincare so much and I feel like the best way to review skincare is to actually use it up so if you guys want to see that in a separate video please let me know so if you like empties videos which I know you do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to let me know and I'll continue to do them subscribe to my channel and turn your bell on please turn your bell on I've had so many people tell me they're subscribed and they're not seeing my videos in their news feed so make sure you turn that bell on so that you never miss an upload so the first thing I have is a body wash to clean myself. This is the Alba Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel in the Honey Mango Scent. It comes with 32 ounces of product and I got this at TJ Maxx for like $8. So bang up deal. Anything that says emollient, I'm like, ooh, give me all the hydration. It lathers really, really well. You don't have to use 25 pumps. It didn't dry my skin out. It didn't make it feel tight. And this lasted me over six months. Like there's a lot of product in here. So yeah, I like this stuff. I would have purchased it. But I got too excited about that. But taste dry shampoo. Like whenever I pull this out, like I just like I just kind of anticipate like beams of light coming out from this as if it's like dropped from heaven. Um, I love Batiste. This is in every empties video. You guys know this spiel. It's amazing at absorbing oil. And I buy the XL sizes now. And I can actually find these at TJ Maxx. You can get the XL sizes at Ulta. Um, they're like $13 to $14. But sometimes I can find them at TJ Maxx for like eight but this lasts me so much longer than the smaller like regular size cans obviously i repurchased it because there's like 15 in every empties video next up i have the joyco joy mist number six hairspray so i love joyco joyco is probably my favorite salon brand i just feel like they do things very consistently number six isn't really my favorite i feel like like all the nozzles like they go through like a level system so it goes through like was like two through nine, 10, something like that. And I feel like each of the misters, like each of the spray nozzles is very different. And I feel like this one, like it spits it out very wet. Like it's not a very dry mist. It kind of mess up my style. So I don't like number six. Speaking of hairsprays, my favorite one at the moment is the Bio Mega Freeze Baby Mega Hold Hairspray. I get the one that's, it's like the XL size. And with all salon products I talk about, Joyco, this stuff, just anything in here, anything I ever talk about, always go to your hairstylist first. I always say support local businesses before you go to like Ulta or Amazon. I love this stuff for really good hold. Now, if you spray too much, it can make your hair look kind of dry and kind of alcoholic. So I would say be more sporadic with this. Like don't, don't apply too much, but this stuff really holds my T's in place. It holds my curl in place and I love it. I just have to be careful with how much I apply. Oh my God, this is not empty. What is wrong with me? This is the B Care Love Superfoods Natural Hair Care Prickly Pear Seed Color Defense Mask Treatment. So this is just a hair mask, but I really like this salon because it's definitely more natural and like they have a formula. All their products are made with a supplement, a protein, and an oil. So that's kind of like the, the basis. So like this one's got a vitamin C supplement, chia seed protein, and macadamia oil. And on the back it says it's vegan, it's color safe, which all salon products are color safe. No parabens, cruelty free, pH balance, which is awesome because a lot of products can actually mess up the pH of your hair. Um, no sulfates or phthalates, no colors added, and no harsh preservatives. So I think that's awesome. This didn't really do a whole lot for me. It wasn't bad. Probably wouldn't repurchase this one in particular, but I really like the line as a whole and I like what they stand for. And I have this Rusk Thermal Flat Iron Spray with pure argon oil. So this is just a heat protectant. And this is really similar to Paul Mitchell's Hot the Press. If you guys are familiar with that one, that one almost acts like a hairspray. Like it has very, very light hold, but it really gives your hair some grip and some dirt to hold on to. So if you have a hard time holding a style, something like that would come in handy. So this does the exact same thing. And the reason I got this is because I did love the Paul Mitchell one so much, but after so long, it started making my hair really dry. And I feel like my hair has gotten a lot drier on the ends as I've gotten older. But I was really hoping the argon oil in here would kind of counteract the dryness that a product like this typically has. But this made my hair so dry and just lackluster. I don't like this stuff. I would not recommend this. And then I have the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I do not like this stuff. It does not hold a candle to Batiste. To me, it just, it doesn't add enough grip. It doesn't add enough texture or volume and it just doesn't absorb my oil. And my hair is extremely oily and I need something to be like, nope, not today, Satan. And then I have the Sexy Hair Silk Finish Featherweight Serum. So this is just a hair serum. And this is definitely good for people with really fine, thin hair. If serums usually make your hair feel really weighed down and just kind of pull out your style, 
I would definitely recommend this, but for me, I have very dense hair and my hair is very dry on the end. So I just need a serum that's a little bit more heavy duty and just a little bit more hydrating and shine inducing, I guess you could say. Like just something that makes my hair more shiny and just kind of revitalizes it better. It was one of those products I couldn't wait to use up. So it's not bad, but it just isn't really for me. I need water. Where's my water? And then I have the dry bar triple sec three in one. And this is a dry shampoo. There's just not enough in these little bottles for someone that has super oily hair. This is such a gimmick, such a waste. I don't even know how good this is because I couldn't use it long enough. Then I had the Sexy Hair 450 degree blowout heat defense blowout spray. So this is a heat protectant for whenever you blow dry your hair. So this did add a lot of shine to my hair, but I'm someone that's really fickle when it comes to things like heat protectants and serums and stuff like that. Like hairsprays, I get pretty loyal with for the, for the most part, but whenever it comes to stuff like this, I like to really branch out and try a bunch of new stuff. So probably wouldn't repurchase it anytime soon, but I would recommend it. So I've been kicking it pretty hard with vitamins this year. Like I've tried so many, but I do want to go ahead and make the disclaimer that any kind of dietary supplement, whether it be a vitamin, a sleep aid, a diet, anything, anything that you ingest in your body cannot be reviewed. That is very personal. That is very subjective. Just take it with a gram of salt. If you want to try something, you got to try it for yourself. Don't listen to reviews of stuff, but there's a new line at Walmart called Ollie and they have a ton of different vitamins. Like they have different beauty vitamins. They have like sleep aid vitamins, one for energy, probiotics, like they have all different kinds of stuff and they're about 10 to $12. So they're not horrible, but I really like the variety that they have. So I did try a couple. So I have the Vibrant Skin Vitamins. So these are for hydrated, youthful skin and they have hyaluronic acid, collagen and sea buckhorn. This is in the plump berry flavor. So it has 50 vitamins in here, 50 gummies and you take two a day. But for the 25 days that I took these, didn't really see a big difference. And I probably should have kept buying them because you can't really tell a big difference just with one bottle of stuff like this. So I just got lazy. I'm just not very consistent. And like I said, I'm fickle. Something that really bothers me about these is that they have 20 calories per two gummies, which I feel like that is extremely high for a gummy vitamin. It's like, I'm supposed to be ingesting a vitamin, not a freaking candy. It has four grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, and five grams of sodium. So that's again, per two. Um, it has 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid, 120 milligrams of marine collagen peptides, and 50 of organic seed buckhorn. So yeah, and it, it just kind of breaks down what each of those things do. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't ever repurchase this again, cause like I said, I really should have kept buying them and kept trying them, but I'm lazy. But I also try the probiotic, cause I really been wanting to get into probiotics, but I just hate taking pills. So I figured a gummy vitamin would be the best way to go. So this is for immune and digestive health and probiotics are supposed to be good for everything. Skin, body, literally everything. Um, this says it has 1 billion live cultures and this is in the tropical mango flavor and oh, I could pop these like candy. Like these tasted like straight up peach mango gummy bears or something like they were delicious. Um, didn't really see a big difference as far as like my skin. Cause like my skin's been horrible this year. It's been breaking out so bad this entire year. So that's why I got these. And again, for the 25 days that I took these, I didn't see a big difference, but I would try them again, but it still bothers me that there's so many calories and carbs and sugars and it's just, like it's a gummy why why are you doing this it's supposed to be healthy for you and then we have halo kiwi seed booster so i was kind of going back and forth on if i wanted to talk about these in a separate video like i kind of wanted to do like i did with my hair skin and nail video where i actually took you like you know month by month doing updates and check-ins and whatnot but i'm not going to because i actually had to stop using these i heard so many good things about them so many people have been saying you know how amazing these are for their skin and what a big transformation that they see in their skin this was actually my second bottle or no this is my first bottle and i started my second bottle and with the first bottle i saw absolutely nothing and like i said my skin has been so bad since like february it did not clear my acne it didn't help with hyperpigmentation it didn't make my skin more hydrated or glowy it did absolutely nothing. Now I will say, I feel like there's a lot of inner stuff going on that's kind of fighting against me. And I almost feel like it's kind of past like a vitamin helping me. So I'm not sure. Like I would like to try this in the future, like give it another shot. And I actually have some more left. I stopped taking them. And no one talks about the smell or the taste of these. These smell and taste like freaking dog food. It is just absolutely horrendous. I, I, I don't understand why all these people are talking about how good these are, but not one person, not even Tati has talked about the smell and why they smell so bad and why they taste so bad. Like the only way I could get these down was like whenever I gagged in my throat and like esophagus kind of opened up a little bit, like they just kind of like fell down as I was like choking and gagging on them. And then I have the Evolution 18 Beauty Bubbles. So this is just like an effervescent, 
like fizzy thing, like basically like uh, Alka-Seltzer. So these were for hydration. So it says hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture and antioxidants for cellular, cellular protection. Um, this is the palm berry flavor. I don't think they have other flavors, but I got this at Walmart and I think it come in a pack of like three and in each thing it has 10 effervescent tablets so basically you just put this into water you let it fizz out you let it do its thing this gave me a ton of energy but not the kind of energy that makes you like jittery and anxious and like sweaty and whatnot like it just gave me a good amount of energy to where it made me productive and it made me more creative and just made, it made me want to get up and do stuff so i have three masks i'm decluttering from formula 1006 I just can't use that mask fast enough. Masks are one of those products that you're not using consistently. You only use them once or twice a week. Like they're not something you use every single day. That on top of trying other things, like trying other masks, you know, seeing what works best for your skin. Also your skin's constantly changing. So month by month, you need different things for your skin. But I have the Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask with Strawberry and Yarrow. I don't know what the hell Yarrow is, what it does, never heard of it. But I mean, I feel like this, pretty much does what every mud or clay mask does. This is a, clay, a Kaolin clay base mask. So I feel like every clay base mask dries up my acne. It helps a little bit, but um, it is very scented. It kind of feels like a cheap skincare product. And I'm just kind of past American skincare in general and I've been focused on, on K-Beauty. And then I have the Deep Down Detox Ultra Cleansing Mud Mask with Orange and Bergamot. From mask to mask, they all kind of do the same thing. Like these are both Kalen based and I feel like the only difference is that in one it's made of like orange oil and then another one it's like strawberry extract. Like there's, there's just not a big difference. So this one actually tingled a little bit whenever I put it on, which was kind of concerning, but it would go away. Um, again, it would help my acne for the time being like most masks do, but didn't really do a whole lot for me. And then I had this Get Your Glow On Skin Brightening Peel Mask with Papaya and Citrus. So this is just a peel off mask. This is actually really cool. This is, I pretty much used the majority of this up. I'm not the biggest fan of like peel off mask anymore because I started hearing that they were basically just like plastic on your skin, like kind of like peeling off a balloon. But whenever I would take this off, my skin would be more glowy looking. So I don't know what the reason for that was, but um, I don't know. Again, just kind of getting away from American skincare and like cheaper skincare over here in the US. And then I have this Olay Mist Ultimate Hydration Essence. It says energizing, it has vitamin C and bergamot. So um, anything that has vitamin C in it that's in a light colored bottle or a see-through bottle, it, it's not actually gonna give you vitamin C benefits. So that's just kind of a, a gimmick. It did make my skin feel more hydrated, more glowy, like, you know, like most mists do. But there's just so much fragrance in here. I'm keeping this bottle because of the mister. I wish I could, I wish I had a little bit in here to show you because the mister was so nice. And it was one of those like continuous mists, like very bougie. And then I had this L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask and I'm not really sure what else it's called. It's just the blue one. Like it's the obvious blue one, but I actually scraped this up dry. Several months ago, I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to use any other mask. I'm just going to focus on this one and use it up. Whenever I had acne, it would clear it up. Like whenever I'd use this the night before, like I'd wake up the next day, my skin would be so much more clear. My blemishes would be dried up, but it's so heavily fragranced. Like there's so much scent in here. It smells good. Don't get me wrong. It smells like a very like manly man, but not really something I want to put on my face. So I use it up just to say that I did but I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. And then I have this Skin Diva Hydrating and Anti-Aging Infusion Spray with, or I, I never know how to pronounce this, Origlene and Rose Extract is how I'm gonna pronounce it. But I didn't like this stuff. Number one, there's stuff in here. I'm getting rid of this, I'm done with it. The mister is so harsh and uneven and I just, I don't like the mister at all. But on top of that, it just didn't do anything for me. It didn't make my skin extra hydrated or extra glowy, just, would not repurchase this. And then I have the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. So this is just a cleansing oil to remove your makeup. If you're someone that wants to invest in skincare, like if you're someone that doesn't care to spend a lot of money on skincare, you just want it to be good, you just want it to be effective, Dermalogica is one of the best brands I've tried. It's expensive, it's very expensive, but it works so well for so many different skin types. When I was working as an esthetician at Ulta, I used Dermalogica almost exclusively. Like I was always testing other brands and other products, but Dermalogica was one of those go-to brands I would use on people with sensitive skin, with rosacea, oily skin, dry skin, mature skin, literally everyone. And it works so well on every skin type without causing breakouts, without causing a reaction. And this stuff melts down and breaks down makeup so well. I just feel like Dermalogica does things really, really well. And I feel like as far as an American brand, they had the best intentions. Wouldn't repurchase it for full price. If I was gonna repurchase something, I would probably repurchase it on like Mercari or something and get it a lot cheaper. But pre-cleanse, 
is amazing. Along with that, I have the special cleansing gel from Dermalogica. And again, this is just a standard cleansing gel. It doesn't foam up a lot, but it makes your skin feel really clean without making it feel tight and dry. If you're using a cleanser that makes your skin feel tight when you're done, it's not for your skin. Like it's it's too harsh, it's stripping your skin, you don't need to use it anymore. And this is just a really basic cleanser. It's a no frills cleanser that's gonna work good for every skin type. I would definitely repurchase this in the full size. And then it had the Origins High Potency Night Amends Resurfacing Cream with Fruit Derived AHA. So this is a glycolic acid based nighttime moisturizer and I love this stuff. I scraped it dry. This is a very, very good night cream. It's very hydrating, it's really rich and just luxurious and high end feeling. Um, I would definitely stick to using it at not not the daytime there's no spf number one but it's just it's more on the rich side but they do have an oil free one as well it's supposed to be more lightweight feeling or whatever geared towards people with oily skin i'm so tired of skincare brands with this stupid gimmick of oil free like oh oil free for people with oily skin stop being afraid of oil oil is good for your skin just stop it. Yeah, I would wake up the next day, my skin would still look hydrated and smooth and plump. And I really enjoyed this stuff. It's it's a little pricey. I would not pay full price for this. This came to me in gratis. And then I have the Bio Aqua. Is it, I don't, it looks like a Q, but it could be an O. I don't know what the hell it means. This is the Deep Cleansing Black Mask. This is a peel off mask. This is what me and Brian used in the video because black masks, like peel off masks were all the rage. And it's like, oh, let's see how much pain you can inflict on your, face so that sounds like fun again i'm done using peel off masks because i've heard way too many bad things about them and this was from china and just not in a position to do that to my face anymore would not repurchase and then i have a few nail products so i have three of these covergirl outlast nail polishes which they don't even sell anymore i don't know why though because i love covergirl nail polishes these were so amazing i love the applicator i love the colors they had some really neat colors but i'm getting rid of these because they're old and they're dried up and then i have the opi natural nail base coat so whenever you get it it looks like more pink like it's like a clear pink kind of color. But this is one of those nail products that whenever you put it on, it kind of enhances the natural color of your nail. So it kind of enhances the pink and enhances the, the whiteness if you have any white tips, which I don't know what that life's about. It's a really good product to put on if you don't want to put actual nail polish on because it just really makes your, your nail look healthy and shiny. But I will say the packaging on this is so bad. Like there were so many times I had to actually take like the tool that you you suck on things and it like helps pull it apart. What I don't even know. I don't, I don't know stuff like that. Okay. It just, goops up around the rim and you can't open the top on it so it's a nuisance there's still some in here but I'm tossing it for that reason and I have this nail aid one minute artificial nail so this is a new line you can find at Walmart so for some reason it's always on like the bottom shelf but they have several different products like they have one that's biotin based they have one that's for your cuticle like a cuticle hydrator type product they have several different base coats this is a base and a top coat so this is basically the exact same thing as that OPI thing that opi base coats the exact same color it does the exact same thing but this literally makes your nail polish last so much longer it makes it chip free it makes it look smooth and even it makes your nail polish look like gel like a gel manicure it's legit i'm going to talk more about this in like a, a top five or like a top 10 video i have some tweezers in here we're kind of going more into like the miscellaneous section these are the revlon tweezers they're so nice and sharp and they have an angle to them and i just feel like they just really get in there and just do the job really nicely. So I kept the patch and everything just to show you what I used. I love these. It's my favorite tweezer. Then I have these Tinkle Eyebrow Razors. It comes in a pack of three and I don't have any in here to show you. I just threw them away as I went, but this is what it looks like. It's basically a larger version of like the tiny eyebrow razors, which I don't really like for like using on my face. These are really good for the face because they are larger and they cover a good amount of space at one time. But I like these for my face, my mustache, my eyes, but these are like four, five, six dollars, depending on the seller on Amazon. I think you can find them on eBay as well, but I love these. Then I have three of these Equate Beauty Advanced Healing Ointment Skin Protectants. So this is basically Aquaphor. It's the Equate Beauty of Aquaphor. This is what I use for lip balm. And this is so big. Like, let me show you what a normal chapstick size looks like. This is a normal chapstick, okay? This is what I use every single day of my life, at least 35 times a day to coat my lips because I'm such a chapstick lip balm addict. I have to get this size or I will be broke. This lasts me like a good two months, something like that. So if I were to use something like this small every single day, it would last me like three weeks because I use chapstick so much. Like if I don't have chapstick on, I can't talk. My lips get really dry. My mouth gets dry. Like I'm addicted. Like I, when I say I'm addicted, I'm not joking. Like I'm actually 
physically addicted to chapstick. I can't talk without it. I can't think without it. Like I have to have some sloppiness, like some greasy feeling stuff on my lips at all times. And right now this is my favorite. This is actually recommended to me by a dermatologist because I told her the problem. She's like, oh, just get the aqua for Well, one problem after another, I'm addicted to this stuff now. Whenever I get older, my lips are gonna be so smooth and just lineless. And all these people that have always made fun of me, like mom, dad, Brian, everybody I went to school with, your lips are gonna be so dry and parched and scaly like a little alligator. And mine are gonna be smooth like a something smooth. So speaking of lip balm, I have the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This is like $7 at Ulta, I think, but I love this stuff. And so many people swear by this. This actually can heal your lips if you're not addicted and obsessed with it like I am. It has a very nice like menthol, cooling, like minty kind of tingling sensation, which I love. But I just go through these so fast, like I would go broke if I used this every single day of my life. Then I have a Real Techniques sponge. This is my favorite sponge in the world. I have a brush in here, cause it's time for this thing to go. My husband's had to like glue the ferrule back on and it's got like green mold or something at the bottom of it. It's it's time to go and look at it. Like it's just, it's all frayed and messed up. It's It's been through a lot of trauma. This is the Morphe M527 brush. This is something I've had for several years. This is the older one. So I do have a newer one and they look mostly the same. I mean, when I first got it, I was like, oh, that's a different shape. It looks more pinched. It's not the same shape, but it is getting more like, like blown out and whatnot so it works a lot better but yeah I love this for bronzer this is what I use pretty exclusively for bronzer I don't use it for anything else and I love this brush and I mean after so many years like it's it's not a super expensive brush so these are gonna shed they're gonna fray they're a cheap brush like it is what it is so everyone kind of knocks on Morphe for being this way and like everyone says oh they're scratchy and they fray and they shed well I mean they're not a $50 brush so yeah, they're gonna do that. And then let's talk about some makeup. So I have a lot of makeup in here. So I have a couple different brow products. So I have the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in Honey Brown. I love this so much. I will repurchase this. I'm trying to use up what I have right now and not buy too many duplicates of stuff. But this is one of my favorite brow pencils. So underrated. It's exactly like Anastasia Brow Wiz. And this shade, Honey Brown, for me, it's perfect. Then I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. I love this so much. This is just like the Urban Decay All Nighter in my opinion. This makes everything look so much more like hydrated and just replenished. And I don't know, it just kind of, it meshes everything together really nicely. But not only that, it actually improves the wear of your makeup. It's legit. And I have the actual All Nighter Setting Spray, which again, I love this stuff. It does the exact same thing as what I just said, the Wet n Wild one does. And this is the OG. This is the one that like, if you don't know where to begin with a setting spray, like if, if you're okay with spending a little bit of money on a setting spray, this stuff works. And this is something that doctors, nurses, like people that have very long work shifts swear by. And then I have the Koki Refresh Hydrating Setting Spray. This just didn't really do a whole lot for me. I actually put it in the Wet n Wild bottle cause I don't really like the sprayer on this, but this, I don't, I don't really see the purpose in a separate hydrating spray from like a long lasting hydrating spray, like the wet and wild one or something. I don't feel like it improves the wear of my makeup. I don't feel like it really does a whole lot as far as revitalizing it. And I have two of the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundations, which are discontinued, but I'm only putting these in here because they're old and I don't want to get rid of them because you can't find these anymore, but it's time. Like my skin is just too sensitive nowadays to use something that's this old. But this is one of the best foundations that CoverGirl has made. Like this one, no, I'm gonna take that back. This was one of the best foundations on the market. It was one of the most underrated foundations on the market. I don't know why they got rid of it. I think they actually repackaged it with the CoverGirl BB cream. Like I feel like it's the exact same thing, just a different color tube. It had really, really good coverage. It lasted all day long. It doesn't even claim to be super long wearing. Like the claims, it doesn't even live up to what it actually does in real life. And then I have the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. I've gone through so many of these. I will continue to go through so many of these. I was using Taupe for the longest time, but Ash Brown is my perfect shade. Ash Brown is one of those shades that works well on so many different hair colors. Like whether you're a deep dark brunette or if you have blonde hair, if you have hair like mine, it works well for so many different people. It has a really nice undertone to it. It's more on the neutral side, whereas taupe is more warm. Probably my favorite brow pencil formula. And then I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Blush Stick in the shade Peach Bums. This is just like NARS Orgasm in the stick form. It's just a really pretty peachy coral with a golden sheen. The Mega Glow Sticks 
are such a good formula. They're so long wearing, they're so easy to blend out and work with. So I love this. I would definitely repurchase it, but I have other shades that look just like it, so I need to use those up first, but very, very good product. And then I have the Stila Stale Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Sapphire. This is just a liquid liner and this dried up really fast. I think I got this from Mercari. So the person that sold it to me could have had it for a really long time. I don't know, but I really like this formula. I love the Stila liquid eyeliner formula. Um, they're very, very long wearing. I love the applicator. It's just like the Kat Von D one. There's what that color looks like. It's a really nice alternative to black. It's very long lasting. It's really hard to remove. I wouldn't pay full price for it. I don't pay full price for any high-end makeup anymore. Like I'm just, I am so over it. And then I have the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. This is my favorite under eye setting powder. I've already opened my other one up. This is the perfect shade for a lighter skin tone. So if you're someone that likes that brightness under the eye, but you can't go for like a typical banana powder, this is for you. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone, I would say probably just stick to the, you know, original banana type shades that are, you know, like a pure yellow. It's so smooth. It doesn't give you flashback. It's just a really nice, like, finely milled soft formula that just makes your under eye area look very like soft and milky. And then I have the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, I think is what it's called in the shade, I don't know, it's a plum one. I don't know, I think it's called Call Me or something like that. But these are very dry. I never did really get the, I, I never really got into these. Whenever I swatch them, they look really good. I don't get it. But whenever I put it on my eyes, they don't last. They're very dry, they break very easily. So I'm not gonna say I would never buy these again because I feel like it's different from shade to shade, but this just didn't really do a whole lot for me. And then I have my favorite lip liner of all time. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Brink. If I was told that I couldn't use any other lip liner, like if I was told to pick one shade for every lipstick, this would be it because it's just one of those shades that works well with so many different tones, nudes, mauves, pinks, berries. You can build it up and make it darker. You can, you know, not layer it as much and make it look, you know, better with a nude. Yeah, there's Brink right there. So yeah, love the shade. I feel like it's going to be good for pretty much all skin tones. And I have the Ordinary's High Adherence Silicone Primer. This was okay. Whenever I'd use it, um, it did make my makeup last fine like my makeup wouldn't fade off fast or anything but it just didn't really do a whole lot for me i'm really getting away from primers i don't really feel like primers are that necessary i think that if you prep your skin well enough with skincare products like moisturizers and serums and stuff like that you really don't need primers like you know except maybe your t-zone or something like that where you have problems but this was okay I wouldn't repurchase it. And then I have the Koki Volume and Length Mascara. I started using this for my lower lashes. I don't really like it for my top, but for my lowers, it's perfect. Like it doesn't make them too long or too voluminous or too spottery. Like it just gives the perfect effect for my lower lashes. Kind of gives you that doll out effect. And then last, I'm pretty sure, is this Show Lash Lash Serum. So this is my first bottle. I'm actually on my second bottle right now. I did an entire review all about my lash experience with this stuff and the growth and all that. So make sure you go check that out for a full on review. So yeah, that is it for this massive monstrous empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it at that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.